Hog Happy Hour. I am Riggs. That is Josh. That is Amelia. They're from SR Parat, and this is the Morning Hog Brew Reveal Part Two. How do you like that? Or Part Two? Part Two. Is that German? What is two in German? Uh... Oh boy, the show just stopped. Okay, let's get back. <laughs> Again, no beer math today. Other than the fact that we do have several beers for you to enjoy, and we're in the Oktoberfest mode. I mean, don't don't if you wait till October, you're gonna miss it. So yeah. jump on now. Uh, definitely jump on now. Uh, these are all available right today. I love this. Yes. Let's get out, do yes. some do some shopping as well. We're on the front end of a weekend. What uh, what are we getting into? Where should we start? So again, we're gonna do Oktoberfest beers. Yeah. Um, last week we did kind of uh, American breweries. Okay. This, this week we're gonna do uh, traditional German breweries. Oh God, Yay. I love we're going yeah. international. Yes. So we're gonna start off with Warsteiner. Okay. Oh, and they're Warsteiner. Oktoberfest. Yes. So much fun to say. Or, do they <laughs> when you're sober, them? let alone when you have a couple of them. Do, do they pronounce W's like V's though? Is it Vorsteiner? I don't know. I don't know. If you want to. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone's going to stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> They'll if probably you, just join you, to be honest. If you order this anywhere and they say you're saying it wrong, just, just tell you, just tell them. Just, just give say, them the money. Just wave your money. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, now, we tried uh, Marzen's last time. Yes. Oh, are we, are we still in the Marzen category for this beer? So these kind of are still technically Marzins, but okay. they're a little bit more traditional style. Yes. Uh, so their color is going to be a little bit lighter, mm -hmm. uh, typically. Um, you're still getting a lot of that same flavor profile yeah. as far as, uh, you know, some toffee, caramel. Right. Um, but if you look at it, I don't know if you remember last week, but these yes. are much more of a uh, a lighter color. Yes. Right. Yeah. More champagne -y. Right. There you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this bottle is really cool, too. It's got, like... Blue like, and white. Yeah, the traditional like checkerboard pattern. Yeah, 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 yeah for white. sure. I'd like to have some sheets like that. Be honest with you, if you guys can have a look out for those. You know. <laughs> Warsteiner makes some great products. They also do a Dunkel and a uh, Pilsner as well. Okay. All fantastic. Yes. All available. Mm -hmm. Those two are available year round. These are this is seasonal, obviously. Okay. Um. So, but definitely check all three of them out. If that this had a variety pack, I'd be right on top of that. And we talked last awesome. week. Oh, that's wow! Yeah. Do you want to send an email or something? I'm going to. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, you know, because last week we did talk about the fact that there isn't the traditional Oktoberfest in Germany this year. Yep. Right? They canceled it was because of canceled. COVID. Yep. Oh man! I mean, you think about the German and think about the Germans for a minute. Think about David Hasselhoff. What are the, what's he going to do? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're giving him ideas right now. Yeah. I don't know if he needs to touch any more beer. He, he could probably probably not. <laughs> he could have some of these, or at least share them with friends or something. Um, yeah. Warsteiner. Right, right. You know, what blows my mind about this beer is it's Oktoberfest flavor, but it still has the four ingredients. Right. Brewing water, barley malt, hops, and hop extract. You, you didn't even say the word pumpkin. Right, <laughs> exactly. Like, pumpkin. Yeah. wow. See, not everything. Not everything oh, has to have pumpkin spice in it. It says a family tradition since 1753. Yeah, so Warsteiner's been around since before Oktoberfest. Whoa! Because I believe we, we talked about last week, yeah. 1810 mm -hmm. was when Oktoberfest <laughs> Festival started. Uh, so these German breweries have been around quite literally forever. Yep. They know what they're doing. 17 what? 53. I mean, Betsy Ross wasn't doing shit then, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think. Uh, but uh, there's probably a massive amount of, uh, of, of distress for people who normally attend uh, uh, Oktoberfest parties right. or Oktoberfest events. So you, just get, you make your own now, right? Right. And like I said um, last week, keep your eyes peeled for social media as far as an event down on Beach Street this year. Oh. Yes. Yep. yes. We, we don't have all the details finalized quite yet, but it, oh. it looks like that's going to happen. So I'm really looking forward to that. We'll have some Stein hoisting and, and all kinds Ooh, of uh, cool stuff, a whole bunch of swag. Okay. So feel like I'm I looking forward to it. feel like I could uh, dress up and be ready for that. Okay. Well, then in that case, let's get closer to it. Let's get to one more beer. What do you want? I got some winter hose for you. Do you? Oh, please. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, did I mention this one's five point nine percent? You did not. <laughs> it is. My my uh, my taste buds told me that I need to German. They they okay. like to hit it big. What's this next one? <laughs> this is Hofbrau. Okay. So this is their Hefeweizen, which is a little bit more of the traditional one, right? Well, so one of the problems we're having, obviously around the whole world right now is supply issues. Um, we're still waiting on our Hot Brow Oktoberfest to, to come in, okay. um, but I still want to feature Hot Brow just because they have great German beers. And uh, from what I understand, it is traditional over in the Oktoberfest uh, 
first of all, the first beer that they crack open is a hop brown. Really? Yes. Oh, Ooh. that's oh, um, that's like the kickoff beer for exactly, the festival. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's so, cool. still so, want to talk about them, and yeah. uh, you know, no doubt. And it's a Hefeweizen, so come on. Oh, I love it's, cer it's certainly worth mentioning that because I brought it up, this is in no way affiliated with David Hasselhoff. It's not Hoff's <laughs> brown, right? Mm. It's this whole separate thing. You, if you want to, if it helps you though, you can think about the Night Rider and enjoy this beer. Right, you can watch Night Rider <laughs> yeah. and drink this beer. Yeah, it's a great idea, actually. <laughs> actually, you, you just bought into my whole weekend. <laughs> right. Whole thing right there. <laughs> And okay. I love Hefeweizens because to me, I kind of pick up like a sense of banana or so something. So that's going to be the yeast profile in there. Oh, okay, that's okay. A big deal yeah. when it comes to Hefeweizens yeah. is that yeast profile. Uh, and it is, it's, it's banana, a little bit of clove. Yeah. Um, and that's what makes a Hefeweizen a Hefeweizen. I had, I got into Hefeweizen in New York City. Okay. So when beers or when music or song or, or in this case, a flavor takes you to a place, as soon as that beer is like with right I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in New York City, <laughs> yes. right? I'm, I'm foraging around for, you know, filth, to trash, whatever I can eat. Uh, but then I got this beer, and I was like, who needs to eat? Right. I've got this. That'll fill you up. <laughs> Part of that story was true. I actually was in New York City for half of us. I'm like, I don't even know what you just said, but yes, I'll pour me some, please. I'll yeah, make I'll take, it. It's I'll really take good. Two. It's very good. Man. Okay, so this is, so this is a regular, the... Oktoberfest version. We'll be here shortly. Okay. Um, just want to get some awareness out that Hop Route is a large part of Oktoberfest. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it actually says on the bottle that it dates back to 1589. Absolutely absurd. Wow. Yeah. 1589. Right. Like, this is like the original. Do they have shirts then? Are people, <laughs> are people, are people still cavemen then? Yeah, I don't even know. It's possible. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? We'll brush up on the history. Uh, we do have two more great Oktoberfest flavors to get to coming up. Uh, this is the Morning Hog Brew Review. They are Josh and Amelia from SR <laughs> Parade. Stick around. More coming up on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog. I am Briggs. This is the Morning Hog. It's Morning Hog Happy Hour. Did you know that? Check the clock. That's Josh and Amelia from SR Parade. They're right here again. <laughs> Bringing us some tasty Oktoberfest beers, and we're in the midst of our kind of uh, authentically German yeah. Oktoberfest beverages. Absolutely. Yes. And since there's not an Oktoberfest over there in Germany this year, we're gonna oh, make we, we get even more beer. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Make, ours, make our own here. And this is our good friend Paul, I see. Yes. Okay. Paul and Er. Oh, Paul and Er. Oh, okay. another one that's been doing it literally forever. Yeah. Right. Um, they started brewing these particular beers. Uh, about 1818. Wow. So what, eight years after October 5th started? Okay. Yeah. So, so I have a hard time. Me too. Me yeah, too. that uh, time this, period. But if you're looking for authenticity in your uh, German beers, this is a this good, is it. It's a yeah. place to go. I mean, okay. Um, so this is their Marzen. Right. So you'll see it's a little bit more of that copper color. Okay. Um, Oh, it is, yeah. I believe when we sampled these last year, this one came out on top as my favorite. Oh, I can oh. see that. I can really yeah, it did. Now. Okay, so this, as we talked about these, mm. October oh, yeah. Fingers, that's classic. They're a little, they have a little bit more ABV than you would think. What is this one now working on? 5.8% okay. here. All right, yes. you, could, you could probably still walk. <laughs> you know, after, after a day of beveraging this into your face. If not, my friends would just roll me around. Mm -hmm. Right? That's okay, too. Yeah. Again, when you're when you're wearing the proper chair, leader, uh, <laughs> leader hose and stuff, and all is good. Uh, that's, uh, okay, so that has a, to, to me, that has a different flavor than our first two. It's got yeah, a the first two are completely different styles. Yeah. Um, where this is a little bit more uh, kind of like the beers we had last week. Okay. As far as traditional oh. Mars. And gotcha. Yes. Yeah, I picked that up. It's like a little bit more malty. Did you Absolutely. Say that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And again, uh, Josh said Marzen, not Martian. We've not got to the Martian beers yet, but stick around. One day. Hey, Coming up. It looks like <laughs> it's a seal, like the pollinarial. Is it? Pollinar seal. Oh. Yeah, like a like, like, seal. An, like, a stamp like an ocean of seal. Oh, oh! oh like I thought a, you meant like a clapping. Stamp. It's official. It's a oh, stamp. Okay. When you see this, it looks like a, the face of a coin. <laughs> oh, that, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like if that was on uh, wax and on the bottom of a document, you think, well, that's official. Exactly. I'll sign off on that. I wonder if they ever did like wax sealed bottles and then that's a good idea. Yeah. On top. I think my, uh, my Wikipedia. I that. think my rental lease has that on it. <laughs> I'm sure. You know, he looks. You know what it doesn't have? This one has a dryer. A it doesn't. It doesn't have a dryer. Neither do I. Neither do I. Still. Three weeks of soaking wet clothes. Yeah, that's all right. Oh my this gosh. is why. I, this, 
this is why daddy drinks. Yeah, you have floor damage over there. Uh, that's right, yeah, I do. I can <laughs> fix this up too. Holy cow. Oh uh, all right, one more. One more. Polliner, but that's a, that's a whole different looking it's animal right different, there. different, right? I know, this is a, it's a large can. 16.9, I think. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is technically that, a liter, if I'm that not is, mistaken. That is a non-traditional right. Oktoberfest right. size, is it not? Well, a traditional for oh, German. Or is it traditional? Right. A, a liter oh. is typically what that stein is. Oh. So a pint over here is 16 ounces. Okay. This is 16.9, so it's a liter. Um, so, so this should fit perfectly right in your stein. So this is your, your big, massive glass stein that you hoist. Or you I've only got a bunch of them. You point, you spill your beers. Exactly. But here, this will fill that thing up. That's great. I did read something interesting the other day regarding steins. What? You know how a lot of them have tops on them? Yeah. Yes. It was due to bugs getting inside while you were drinking, uh, and so people didn't get sick. So they, Genius. <laughs> I got those in my house. Hey, it's yeah. COVID. So now I can just get a lid. Ironically, you have a ton of bugs inside of it. Yeah, I do. I don't know why. It's, just, it's probably the... Probably the expired watermelon that I left laying around. <laughs> uh, this, okay, so this is way lighter. This, way a, this lighter. looks like a whole different beverage than that last one. So, ironically, the last one we had was Polliner's Oktoberfest Mars, and this says okay. uh, Polliner's Oktoberfest beer, and it's B I E R. Okay, this is what I'm assuming it's the traditional the spelling of it. Okay, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> but like you said, this is a much lighter beer. Okay. I believe this clocks in at 6%, so a little mm -hmm. bit higher ABV. All right. Um, this was. Brewed much later, though. Okay. So. Oh, okay. That's or the other way. Around. Okay. So this well, is this is a fr this is a newer beer. This actually says it has a stamp on here that says it's Germany's number one Oktoberfest beer. What? So they're slamming it. Wow. This is like the highest ABV beer we've had today. It's the lightest this? color oh. and it's yeah. very very sessionable, oh. as we say here in America, it's, aka drinkable. Oh, it's okay to call a beer winner if we need to call a beer winner, and that one's the beer winner of the day. Wow. Yeah, that's a whole very... Uh, Definitely the, the lightest tasting beer of the day, um, even at 6%. Yeah. Uh, so I could see why it does so well. Yes. Sweet. Now, uh, as far as hoisting steins go, yes. we've talked about this. This is a season for hoisting steins. Yes. Right, is there any place or anything, anything way we could go do that? Oh, my gosh. Well, this weekend yeah, is the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go do that. Well, cool. let's start outside. Yep, yep. Um, the Celtic Festival yeah. is happening oh. this weekend. Whoa. Okay. So not quite German beers. We're going to have Guinness out there. We're okay. going to have, you know, Irish Reds and mm. stuff like that. But there's also going to have the Highland Games. You Get know, out. Yes. Like the caber toss? Yes. Yes. Oh. 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 He's pulling it traditional music yeah. and a lots of beer drinking so oh, if you man. want kind of an oktoberfest feeling here in this area yes, it's at the casements in ormond beach saturday oh. and sunday oh really out there on the daylight the hours when oh. it's daylight open <laughs> selling beer <laughs> yes, yes. nighttime event closed so. yeah yeah you don't want the nighttime paper tossing that nighttime you do more of your drinking yeah once it disappears yeah. you can't see it anymore that's a problem sure Wow, that really so that and, and now what would uh, what, I guess you could still drink out of a stein there, right? Sure, why not? Most people drink out of horns. Yeah. Oh, that's right, the horns. I've yeah. seen that. Yeah, okay. people will do that. And uh, <laughs> so then, welcome to Rockville. About one of those horns. If you ever buy one of those horns, do your research first. Yeah. Make sure it's clean. Well, make sure it's <laughs> not only clean but sealed. Oh, oh sealed. Because oh, so if it's not me. sealed on the inside, oh. you pour your first beer and it smells like a wet dog, and you will not be happy. Oh. oh. No. Okay. It smells like a dog toy. It's okay. awful. Okay. Oh wow! So authenticity comes with a price. Hey, absolutely. Do not cheap out on those That's ones. <laughs> I get you. You don't, you don't want to. Yes, it will alter your your beer complexion. You I don't want that. It will alter your stomach. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's not good. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to get the safe, responsible. Uh, these beverages. We go to srprod.com slash beer finder. Absolutely. But where else can we track them down? So a lot of these are actually available uh, just about everywhere. Um, Total Wine, ABC, Win Dixie's. Okay. Uh, really? Local independence, yep. Nice. Um, so, like I said, check out the website, but they're they're available pretty much everywhere right now. Well, I'm ready. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Let's we're get to we're it. sneaking up. The next time we see you, we might have Halloween costumes on. We're not sure. <laughs> Depends on how Oktoberfest goes. To be honest with you. Well, let me just hoist the cheers to all of you. Cheers. cheers.